has negotiated an agreement with Kern County. That agreement would protect the freedom of speech rights of contractors and employees after an investigation found the county violated the rights of local organizations in 2020. Now those organizations are speaking out. We were there when our communities needed, needed us the most, but not with the support of the county of Kern. Reyna Lagas is president of Building Healthy Communities, one of the organizations with a proposed contract to assist the county with its public health response to COVID-19 in 2020, until the Board of Supervisors brought that to a screeching halt that many say had deadly results. This was not just an attack on a few community organizations. This was an attack on constituents. We lost many lives. An investigation by the California Department of Justice and Attorney General Rob Bonta found that the county refused to enter into contracts with that organization and others over supervisors' concerns that the group expressed support for defunding the police. Yet in a statement, the county said the choice was because it was identified that this work could be effectively performed internally. As the investigation continued, Bonta said the DOJ found supervisors may engage in viewpoint discrimination, but the DOJ did not find evidence that the county engaged in a pattern or practice of free speech rights violations. If the judgment is approved in Kern County Superior Court, over a three-year oversight period, the county will be required to adopt and disseminate a countywide free speech policy, designate a county complaint coordinator, and develop and provide annual training training to members of the Board of Supervisors and other county personnel. The county declined to comment, but in a statement said it opted into the agreement to move forward and continue to focus on the many important matters the county handles every day.